Let's see what the 3060 LHR version 2 can do. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel where we do rig builds, gear reviews and how to crypto videos. I am Jacques and in this video we'll be looking at the 3060 LHR version 2. So we'll be looking at the overclocks, hash rate and profitability. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so this GPU will be testing in Windows. So first of all, we come to GPU Z. We open this. So now we can see here it tells us it's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. And this specific one is equipped with Samsung memory. So now do we know that it's actually an LHR version 2? We can see with this number 2504. Thank you very much to Red Fox Crypto for pointing this out. So the 2503 is actually the version 1 and 2504, this is the version 2 LHR. So this is the only way that you can identify version 1 versus version 2 LHR. Okay, so the second thing we're doing, so we'll come into our minor files. I've already copied the two miners Ethereum file, which which I prepared for the 3060 LHR. So we just right click, edit. So here we can see it's just all the, the default stuff that we put in. So we just put the path for the miner. We have to edit this because the standard one doesn't work. We can see we are on the ETH algorithm. Then of course the stratum port our miner you can see that i've got a bitcoin address in here because i'm mining ethereum and i having it paid out in bitcoin then our worker name and here i've got my fan set to auto fan so i'm setting a temperature a gpu temperature of 65 degrees and i'm letting the auto fan doing its thing so then i don't have to worry about the temperatures you can see there's no overclocks that i put in here so we'll just be running it stock and then see what the standard hash rate out of the box is okay so now that we've got msi afterburner open you can see everything is set at zero so there's no overclocks applied to this gpu now we go over to our minor file right click run as administrator and now we will see that our miner opens up okay so here we can see that our auto fan is set for 65 degrees celsius the target hash rate for the unlocker is 28.18 mega hashes so we'll see in a bit what the standard configuration on this card runs and how much hash rate we're actually getting without any overclocks right off the bat now we can see that our lhr is limited at 74 percent we are doing 27.86 mega hashes and 140 watts and the efficiency is just terrible it's 247 kilo hashes per watt i've experimenting a little bit with the memory clock so we will go up to 1400 i can actually take this number up to about 1600 which it runs stable but the moment that i go down on the core clock then i'm starting to get crashes so i found that 1400 on the memory clock is the most stable so now that we applied plus 1400 on the memory clock so we can see our memory clock now runs at 8700 megahertz and we can see that without any core clock overclocks we are running at 1905 megahertz which is very high that's why the power draw is so much so let's just see what it's doing only with the plus 1400 memory clock 
I ran the miner now for a few cycles. So you can see that on average, it's doing around 33.5 to 33.7 megahertz per second. And we're running anything between 147 watts up to 159 watts at an efficiency of 222 kilohertz per watt. So now we will go and add an absolute core clock. And in this case, I found that 1475 on the core clock is where I'll get the best hash rate as well as the best efficiency on this GPU so in order to do the absolute core clock so we just open this file to edit it again and then right at the end I just add the command dash dash lock core clock and I'll put in the value of 1475 we save it so now I have to restart the miner so we ran a few cycles now we can see that the hash rate is fluctuating between 35.4 and 36.39 and anything from 101 watts up till about 111 watts and it gives us an efficiency of 341 kilo ashes per watt which is much much better than we initially experienced if we just come over to what to mine and we put the numbers in there so we can see that we are that we have been running let's say 35.5 mega ashes per second at 111 watts at 10 cents per kilowatt so now we can see that we can expect about two dollars and 52 cents per day on ethereum i've got the same gpu installed in ivos so if i just open it up so you can see i'm using t-rex minor version 24.7 on this particular one, I'm getting 35.14 mega ashes. And you can see this one's also got the Samsung memory. Now here I'm using a slightly lower core clock. I cannot run 1475 absolute core clock on this GPU in Ivo S. And you can see I'm running around about 97 to about 105 watts. It's fluctuating a little bit so if we go into the miner so you can see here that i'm on average getting about 35.68 34.97 34.94 but with a very good efficiency rate of about 353 kilo ashes per watt which is better than we saw in windows i will be doing a follow-up video as well where i'll be doing dual mining ethereum and ravencoin and compare it to just mining ethereum to see if we are gaining anything from dual mining so please have a look out for a follow-up video. Please let me know in the comments below the overclocks and the hash rates that you are getting from your 3060 LHR version 2. Also, if you found this video useful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.